Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more LA Noir. We are continuing on the homicide cases, I believe they are. I would, I, I was gonna do it in my little, you know, these screens, but the game isn't coming up on there, so, um, from full cam. Let me know if you'd prefer intros to be like this, so, I don't know, I don't know if you'd prefer this or this. Let me know. Anyway, we are continuing on, um, as I said, with the homicide cases. I'm really excited. I feel like I... That is really good. Okay, the golden butterfly. Oh, I'm excited. God. <laughs> Ugh. Galloway. Still Stefan. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What I don't want to be. New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. Such I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. I'm gonna check something actually. Oh, there is my V-Sync. I thought, I think, I was thinking V-Sync might fix the camera smoothness. The but there isn't any. Also, I'm really sniffly he because wants a I'm five allergic star to goddamn cats. Wedding. Rats! I'm basically mm -hmm. really allergic to my cats. Um, and I haven't taken His any antihistamine. Antihistamine. Uh, actually, it's called cool antihistamine. Oh wait, no, no, no. No. Go driving. You can drive. I mean, yeah, 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 okay. You got the map. Cool. Did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Stop. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. What if I don't want to get along? What if I don't like you? I miss Stefan. Try and see him. Now, boys, boys, you know yeah. as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy's been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh Stop. from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Wendell's. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry and of Elizabeth Short, for so that you matter? you don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, but the greatest scientific investigators are our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. <laughs> we have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. Are they what witnesses have, up the top? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. I'll do my best, sir. I knew okay. it wasn't safe around here anymore. I'm so sorry. I'm so sniffly. I'm so Detective, sorry. I was first on scene. So what's going on over there? Okay. That is the crime scene. Oh, is that uh -huh. Oh my god. Pass. 
Money. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Parent teacher association. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Okay. Oh wait, no, no, that's it. I'm gonna try and be very aware of where she is. Um, so, you know. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Okay. Okay, let's look at that. Thanks very much for your help. The neck. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Okay. Like she's been stomped on. Ring finger. That would have been a marriage. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. Yeah. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Was she drowned? Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Ooh. But once. I guess that isn't a clue. Okay. Detectives, R and I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. Could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would yeah. seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. <laughs> At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. I thought you said... Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going exactly. on the evidence? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, uh, that, yeah, there is... Oh, wait, is it just the bottle? Sigh. Anyway, okay, let's go. We're going to the residence. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell. Come on, Galloway. Mr. Stefan. Awful. Awful. Hey, Mr. Stefan. Why can't we get any closer? <laughs> you can drive. Mm -hmm. The residence. Where are we headed? Let's -a go. Why did they take so long to get in the car? It's actually. Still it might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough, more than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. Hey, man, that, ain't you wait, felt? That Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me you're a dad. Dad? This no conversation way. is over. No way! Oh. Ooh, what's that? Hey, what is that? Hello. Oh. Wait, should I go speak to her first? I don't know. Hello. What's up? Is that a bug? I don't know. Okay. Hello, dear child. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? 
He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Why'd she give Galloway that you. look? <laughs> I don't like Can you do have this. a seat for me, Michelle? Have a look around. Have some decency, dude. Come on. We'll be back in a moment. Just sit tight. Does that say? Don't I mean, forget. This is help us. Mom's birthday on the 16th. Oh. Oh wait, but that's so sad. <sighs> My partner will take us more than me to connect, to connect that. that. <gasps> cookies. I love cookies. I doubt it. Wait, was she doing this? Well, she was sitting down when we saw her. I'm confused. Hello? Oh. Oh, it's drama tune, go on. Probably nothing. We're just gonna snoop through her diary. <laughs> okay. Nothing in here. Size eight. Workbooks. Size eight. Does it mention size eight at the work scene? The same size. Jewelry boxes? Probably. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Okay. Right. No missing. sign of a wedding ring. Oh, my bad. I accidentally closed that too quickly. I think the music stops. Okay. Hello. Can we speak to you? This feels wrong. Doing this without um, a parental is this figure. about mommy? Present. Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Is this allowed? <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions right. for us? Try. <laughs> I could try. Okay. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Doubt. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Okay. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. True. True? I think that's true. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. The rose gold wedding band and the matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Thank you. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. That's a lie. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. 
and they always wore her golden butterfly. The name of the mission. Thanks, Miss Muller. <laughs> You've been very brave. Hey, what kids? Daddy, the police are room, here. Please, I think he can see Daddy, Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of. Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? The... But, but she only. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Don't seem that surprised. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Why are Simple you process of elimination. Nines, I think. Lie. You wear a size eight. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Because you're an eight. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. And a nine would make it that much. Whatever. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. I feel like he's lying. Oh, wait, husband's... I would lie. Yeah, lying. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Yeah, I am, actually. I, well, it's mostly your daughter that said you weren't. Um, this. Uh, yeah, so why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. That? It's my way of relaxing. Why am I? You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. I'm gonna say doubt. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's so loose? angry? <laughs> Now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. Yes, it is. The brooch. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. No, but your daughter does. Um, and she gave me evidence. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do Why? I look like a Rockefeller? Oh, because he doesn't have enough money. Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a four very four. bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. I don't know if he did it or not. I'm not gonna lie. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in LA. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Ooh. Hello. Witness? Detective. Hello, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. <laughs> they had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. Incinerator. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, that's an incinerator? 
I did not think that was an incinerator. Step away from the incinerator. Don't What's let him get away. No. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Oh my god, get up! Can't you just jump that? Yeah. Tackle. Shoes with blood on them. Oh wow. And size eights. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can't get him booked oh. in a central officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking to him later. And inform the cat. I didn't yes, need to do that. Bad. I'm so sorry. Is there someone you can call, Miss? I I don't want a home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Acresfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you. <laughs> he does time. not care, Galloway. Oh. We ought to get some uniforms down here. Clean Sorry, up. I didn't mean to Take care of the off. kid. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Stop. I didn't mean to cut that off. I just... I, I tried to exit out the shoe. Okay. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Technical services oh, two things are happening at the same time. North, I'm confused. How can I help, Detective? Send someone down I need an address on a Belmont high school. Oh, that's a lot. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High. 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks for your help. Okay. Right. Nice so we have a new location. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please mark downtown when he's available. You drive. I need to go over the case mm -hmm. notes. Got it, KGPL. Let's go to the high school class, though. You're a real asshole, you know that? Are you talking to I'm me? I'm surprised, you know. Did I, I didn't do? make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the vic what? who does this the is, deed. Is this not God assumptions? Knows I wanted to kill some wives this is not assumptions. So who Lex is parsimonii. Who assumptions? What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to dumb things down for now. Is that vocabulary? Appreciate it. Try this one off the sides. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Sure. Saturday is the unveiling, Emmy. It's the first season this since the Saturday thing's over. It? We have I to go. You, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? Hello? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Who the hell is he? Besides so you do what? Good. Just wondering, just curious. Oh, I should have cut round. Oh no. Oh my god, you goddamn idiot. This guy's the There he is, officer. Come here, brats. Come here. Fight? Oh, That's wow. far enough, freak. You move a muscle and you're a dead man. Touch 
touchdown. Oh my god. 11K, go ahead. 11K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing field. 11K, code 2. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard I way. I love it. Oh Name's my god. Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. Do you think a woman is? was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Wait, is that her Well, car? I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Wait, isn't You're under bird? arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. That is a very I'll tell bird. them we got a kitty bird. reaper no coming. Bird. They can roll out the red carpet. <sighs> can we just put him in a way anyway, whether he did it or not? He's so dumb. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth How is, is it was pretty dark. Remember? Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Wow. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. If these aren't the uh, better weapons, I don't know what are. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Chrysler? What's that? The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Wait, so Muller did do it? In Central. Why are we keep about to walk into a bush? Huh. Wait, so I'm like actually really lost on who's done it, unless it was both of them. I don't know though. Phelps badge 1247. I love that. 1247. Sounds so robotic. I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Oh, we're. Certainly, um, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Both. Thank you. Sorry. My nose. Return to Central. Okay. Before that, we're going to go to the mall. You know the way. You can drive. Because. Fine. Where are we headed? There's probably going to be stuff at the morgue clues that we can use in the interrogation and I want to make sure I do good on this case. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. Can we let Muller slide? He does, I mean. For a while. He gets a free pass for me. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Yes, please. please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. 
Wait, wasn't this the rope used? What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Hmm. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Now it's itself, don't record when allergies are bad. <laughs> okay, so I guess now we go to the. Uh, you can drive. Station. And where exactly are we going? Station, babes. We're gonna go interrogate some people. <laughs> Not exactly the happiest of places to come. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, man. Oh, okay. Corners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. <laughs> you know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Love a good rhyme. Okay. I'm scared. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him. Are they ready? Oh my god! Bowlers in two and the perverts in How one. Get in dialogue? there and get a conviction. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know Wait, you made you it going? if you got that desk. Wait, one, two, three. Boys. Captain. Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. I just want to yes, hear this dialogue. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Oh, I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my chest. You look like you've had it rough. Okay, well, interview See me this asking for your sympathy, boy. He was boy. outside the room. <laughs> Place of You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family a roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. Mm. I'm looking for something new. Why is he doing that face? Oh, I want to say, I think I need to also take into account. Okay, I'm going to go down. This place you worked have a name? Okay. Hennessy Marine. You can't miss place, big yellow letters, HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. A HM. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot, felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. Wait. So they weren't, they weren't hit molars, they were this dude's. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. Ugh. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? No. Any old rope will do me fine. Oh, I hate doing this, but I think that's true. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. <laughs> you killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. Oh, that's... Doubt. I don't know, he looks too smug. I don't know. I don't know. Plus, I'm missing the watch and the rings, but I have... I could do a lie in that. But I have no proof connecting that to him. 
You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car oh, that coming to the better. parking lot late last night. Yeah? Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over, and I picked it up. Oh, I don't know, because I want to interview, interview the other dude, but oh, I don't know. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first-degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. Can I still interview Muller? With the husband, I mean? Oh! No, what? Good for you. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations oh, wait, are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. But what about In the, the meantime, other dude? I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. What about the husband? Do we just not get. What? We were just... 11 out of 12 foods? I thought I got them all though. Valorous? Wait, I think that's the best I've ever done. All questions... Damn, I was on a roll today. What the hell? All questions correct. I missed one clue. Okay, case notes. Eli Rooney can expect a warm welcome from Captain Donnelly and the district attorney. But then wait, what happened with the husband? Oh my god, okay, this is like the one thing with this game. I never truly understand where to go first. So I just thought, it's Galloway's fault. It's actually Galloway's fault. Because Galloway went to interview room one first, which had Eli in it. I mean, I guess I made it easier because I didn't have to do Muller's one. Well, the husband's one. Because Deirdre um, was also Muller. I, I, I wanted to do both, but now you only got to do one. Interesting case. Definitely an interesting case. I did wish I got to do both, though. I guess because I got it right that Eli was the one that killed her. But I, I do think that was pretty, like, a, a smart, a smart, you know, having HM be the initials of the husband. And then also having it be the name of the place that Eli worked at. I just think that tricked me. That really tricked me. So yeah, I definitely thought it was a husband. I didn't think it was Eli, but I guess it was Eli. I wanted to try and charge them both, but I couldn't. Anyway, my allergies are really acting up. So I'm gonna leave that there for today's part. Oh my God, my allergies. I just feel really bad for, what was her name? I only got her middle name, which was Eloise, the daughter. I feel really bad for the daughter because now she has no one. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of LA Noir. Okay, bye.